the forge has gone quiet, the bellows blow no more. The forge has gone quiet, the smiths have gone home. Only fading embers remain, and my hearth grows cold. One kiss from you to rekindle it all. Welcome back to Queen of Embers. I'm your game master, Daniel Fox. This is um, this is everybody. Uh, so some of you probably are noticing something a little different about this video. One, it's clear because we are now recording on a new. Oh my gosh, it's zooming in on Zatanna RPG horror. Oh god. Uh, we're rec we're actually recording now on a 1080p um, meeting out. Just released. Just picked it up. Pretty stoked about that. Uh, here's what the video looks like. It looks a lot better already from what we can see. Yeah. But um, it has a different white banding around it, uh, which will will probably do something there. I don't like the white banding, but it's modern. It's it's iPhone. I don't know. But um, yeah, we should look better. So thank you, patrons. Uh, thank you, without thank you, you, we couldn't do this. Honestly, uh, it's how we got our first camera. It's how we got our next camera, and. <laughs> You say that like it's as if it's an inevitability. Are we moving to 4K? Uh, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> no, those video files no. are huge. Uh -huh. I don't no. even think YouTube would take them. No. no. That's right. No. Um, so, anywho, we played some Zweihander last week. We played some Queen of Embers, and some really bad stuff happened. Mm. What happened last week? I don't know. I must have repressed it because it was just like bad. <laughs> I lost some bronze. She I think lost some Harper bronze. flipped out. We, we I don't know. I'm Warren. out. Yeah. Where do you go? <laughs> Hi, I'm incapacitated. Have fun. Queen of Sheba. We're going to start calling you Queen of Sheba. He's <laughs> <laughs> got so much jewelry on. <clears throat> yeah, some crazy stuff happened. So where we start the we started the game in the chamber where you had the caught of the tomb, robber. Robber, tomb robbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. What happened? So we let them go. We gathered up guns, but we I believe we left most of the loot. Whatever Warren didn't. What he couldn't wear. Right. <laughs> and then we thought to ourselves, I mean, we have to, if we need to get to the place we're going, we're going to have to go through this crypt, was it? Sepulchre. Sepulchre something. Sepulchre. The sepulchre, yeah. <laughs> you, you, had to go, you had to go from the burial chamber to the sepulchre. And so we decided to, you know, gather whatever courage we could and move forward. And then we kind of ended up noticing, like, this was definitely a uh, tomb where they buried the Aloranites throughout the centuries because it looked like a lot of the stuff was from an older age like the second age or before mm -hmm. and I believe some people were able to even discern some of the writing on the walls mm -hmm. and came up with a ritual I believe that's right yep. Jonathan found a ritual Jonathan. of Blessed, blessed sacrament. sacrament. Blessed sacrament. It's blessed sacrament. That's right. Okay. You will notice, by the way, uh, that Walter is not here, may not be able to join us tonight because of work. Life of a cis admin. Yeah. We'll go on. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, let's see here. From there, it's been, I think I think I got a bit afraid. So and then I, we found the wall in darkness. Yeah, and then so Harper kind of flipped out. Found a wall. Yeah, it was just Harper that put that. I was like, I think half the party was in the break what you're talking about. <laughs> Not me. Harper! Failure, failure, failure two, right? No, Jonathan. Ran. <laughs> <laughs> we were the only two that were seriously. No, no, he succeeded. Yeah. The I, first time. But no. then he ran. When he it, the first time it was only me and you that failed. Yeah. When the when we all of a sudden got separated and turned into our own dimensions. Oh, that's right. We had, we went into the dark. 
darkness. Tune in the last episode. The, the darkness, darkness absorbed darkness. us. Yeah. <laughs> and we all kind of saw various different things. Mm-hmm. Harper failed. Elisa failed. Mm-hmm. John Warren failed. succeeded. But was it Warren that succeeded? It was Warren. 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 Uh, and then from there, yeah, we just kept on going. Because he's not answering to Warren, it's no not way. Warren. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were attacked by the shadows. Yes. And uh, Elisa had brushed with death happen to her twice, and you lost her brawn. You had it happen once. You lost my brawn, yeah. Um, I got incapacitated from peril. Uh, and then Banneker managed to kill it with a torch because we figured out fire hurt it. Yeah, if right. only one of us was like a cultist, we could have cast Magic Missile at the darkness. But, uh, <laughs> I cast Magic Missile at the darkness! <laughs> There's any girl there I want to do it! Well, we did. <laughs> so. I love that. But yeah, movie. thankfully, due to uh, Banneker's quick thinking, we were able to banish the darkness. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's, I think, where we left off. Our hero. That's right. Yeah, Darkness, light, you know, I mean, there was, there was a little logic. Going on. Our hero is a Super Saiyan. Um, if it didn't work, I was going to follow right. Warren the next round. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, so, Warren took off. Oh, yeah. He ran through the ghost. Literally, he was going to do the shit. Use Shadow. all of our coins. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I mean, he only had, I mean, I get it, trying to escape the darkness that's mm-hmm. yeah, that's imprisoning us all escape that we the dark see. Dungeon? Yeah. Yeah. Absolute horror. Is he escaping the I cannot live. I cannot die. I think Metallica just issued us. Oh no! Sorry, Sorry, Lars! Sorry, Lars! Sorry, Lars. Uh, so, first off, everybody take one of these cards. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is your initiative card. Write your name on the front and the back because it's going to be set up like a tent, like this, remember? Like a tent. So, just set it up. Get it down to your ladies. And. Front and back. Yeah. Front and back, yes. Smooth side or rough side? I'm good, man. Side? I'm good. Right down on both sides. So remember, we're using the new initiative round system with this. Uh, we are also using multiple tax, multiple parallel stunts, and we're going to add one more house rule on top of that. We use some multiple smelling salts, and use some multiple what? Wandum. Oh, uh, however, man. you may discover the more that you take, more corrupted you become. No. Your first law number, first <laughs> smelling salt, as you remember, <laughs> is, as you can guess it, one corruption. Take two, you suffer three more. Right, take another, suffer. you suffer six. Suffer. Take another, you suffer nine. So you can take up to three law number day. Great value. Ooh. Were we supposed to roll? <laughs> I cannot live. Yeah. I cannot. Well, that's, you gotta be pretty rich to have all that law number. <laughs> or, an <laughs> or an alchemist, yeah. But still, buying the seed pods. You can grow that stuff. True. And a core. Harp or. You have to put your initiative on both sides, please. Harp or. Best to enable me to see what your initiative is as well. Yeah, we yeah. didn't have any overlaps. Nice. That's just your first time ever. I know, right? No roll offs. I thought me and Banneker both. Just had kidding, Banneker and Harper. What's your what's your perception about us? Seven, I think. We're here. Five P. Yeah. There we go. So I put it on there. It's so eight. sorry, mine's eight. Oh, you still Actually, beat I'm me. a seventeen. Oh. I forgot to change. Terwin. Nah, nah. what's your perception about us? Uh, five. So Banneker. I want you to do this in pencil, but I don't have a pencil to erase it, so can I borrow your pencil, please? Like, uh, yeah. You just keep it. I got oh. another. You know, we could oh, make these 16. more permanent and just put dry erase on them and put tape. I have those actually Perfect. coming. Oh, yeah. Well, I was just thinking for those. Yeah. So, remember, Great our quick, quick. I had a few, I was looking at the eight. So. Let's take a quick account of the house rules. House rules yeah. are shifting initiative, <clears throat> right? Once, you're, once everybody's gone around the table, including enemies. Second is multiple tax, multiple parallel stunts. And the third is up to three laudanum and up to three spelling salts a day now. But you're Ooh, suffering. So people. one, three, and six? Yep. One, three, and six, okay. Oh. Ooh, that's a money, too. Yeah, yeah nice lots of fucking five uh-huh. gold. Make it rain like my lords do. <laughs> Actually, is it, what's that meme with him doing this with the salt? 
I thought it was this. Yeah, the he's, do, he's doing this, but it's it's all gold crowns. Laudanum, <laughs> smelling salts. Oh my god. Um. Okay. Cool. So, uh, you're in the middle of a cavern, uh, a leaky cavern, with stalagmites and stalactites kind of stalagmites reaching toward the ceiling, stalactites reaching toward the ground, and you banish the shadows away with your torchlight, and you can see. Uh, where your torches are, the light of the lanterns of the torches are kind of playing up on the walls. The shadows shift back and forth with the flickering of the light. You have seemingly banished whatever presence was here. And not far from where you're at, you can see this small wooden door in the, one of the walls of the cavern. Clearly this is like some other area, some other part of the undercroft that was perhaps uncovered at some point or another. It doesn't appear to be on the maps. Oh, yeah. not, this is not on the maps? It is not, no. Because um, somebody failed their navigation test. <laughs> oh, really? I don't... They won't put... Oh. It was but, secret. <clears throat> secret, secret. You can see, as you're looking around, you're taking stock of what happened. You can feel this coldness kind of wash over you in here. You look toward one another. One, two, three, four, five of you, including Jonathan. But Warren is nowhere to be seen. Instead, oh, there's there was this, another door that he got caught. Instead, at. there's this yeah, yawning yeah. darkness. Yeah. A door yeah. that's half open, a small, normal standard sized wooden door. Yeah, where you can see something shifting, moving around in the darkness. It must it must be Warren. Everybody take accounts. And uh right, Taryn looks around and he's like, Warren! Warren! Do you hear your name being called? I there's nowhere to run, so in the room, so I'm still here. I'm still here. He says clearly and confidently. Uh, oh. Sounds like you broke on through to the other side. Locked door here. Is everyone alright? No. You can see that um from where you're at, Elisa is on the ground. You can see these gray streaks through her hair as well as um, manicures. Come on, I'll uh, offer my hand out to Elisa. Kind of shakes for a second and looks at your hand. It shakes her head. Listen, I know. It's. This is something different. Well, we've survived something different before. The only way we're going to get through this is with each other. Isn't that right? There is no getting through. And uh, I'll kneel down and I'll, I'll reach my hand out towards your shoulder and place my hand on your shoulder. Come on then. She kind of whispers. You're all right with us. You can, do, you can do this. We've seen worse. She looks around for a second and then kind of rolls over to her knees and breathing really like heavy or trying to catch her breath. It seems like the somewhat hyperventilating. And she's trying to get back up to her feet slowly. <laughs> uh, she's not like clearly spooked. She's exhausted. That is heroin. Oh, sorry, as <coughs> I'll, I'll help her get to her feet and then. Uh... Her legs are shaky, but she's certainly able to stand. I'll go check on Banneker. I'm fine. Get away from me. All right. I'll pull a smelling salt out of my pocket and throw it to her. She doesn't catch it, she leans over and grabs it. So you'll go up one step on the peril condition track and you'll suffer one corruption. Kind of doesn't bring you completely to your senses, but at least you can kind of gather what's happening around you now. Is this the end? Are we finally through this fucking war? I don't think so. Uh, what's the map say? Does it tell us how far we got left to go? Um, now, Jonathan said last time that it was off the map, right? 
Yes. Uh, this is an on the map. Lisa looks around for how a do, how, how do we get back on the map? Well, we either turn around or we keep going. Well, the map shows the way to go, and we go off the map. I, I don't think that's the right way, but I, I ain't learning in these sorts of things. You know what's great about maps? You what? can you can mark them. What does the map say? He hands jump and hands the map to to Lisa. Lisa looks at it for a second, and then. Though she normally wouldn't do anything like it in front of you guys, she reaches into her bag and grabs out a mandrake root. Mm -hmm. Starts chewing on it. Uh, let me look. I love the compass. Really it's like a secret it. navigation test. Okay. okay, uh, 28. What are your chances? My, well, I flipped a fail. So. My 82. What is it treated as if it was standard? Uh, if it was standard, 43. Did keep that or re-roll? I'm not going to get lower than 28. She pulls up, flip the, fail. she <laughs> takes the 32. compass in hand, and you can see the needles kind of like dowsing all different directions. It's not spinning, but it's kind of moving different directions, uncertain really where to locate north from here. And she's kind of looking at the map confusedly, and you can't really make heads or tails of where you're at. Nothing, it doesn't appear to be on the map. Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense right now. Not, not. I knew. Before we entered this room, I knew the way to go. I, I knew it, but... And she just kind of looks around for a second. Can you point on the map to where we last were? When you knew it. No. Seems like since you passed through that curtain of black where no light would penetrate and the strange visions that you don't really have a clear understanding of where you were on the map. You know, at one point you were in this cha in a chamber that you can identify. That was like a burial chamber where you fought the tomb robbers, but... This is the last place. <laughs> well, we've we've it's... marked our paths. Let's just, let's just move back and find the chalk. This is not the way. <coughs> We're hundred percent sure. Let's find the chalk. That's why we did it. Going back's not going to fix anything, I don't think, other than possibly put us back in the same places that we had the problems. You think there's more of that? I don't. Honestly, I don't want to move right now. What about I like we can sleep here. Existing is hard enough right at this moment, so someone make a decision. Right. Oh, there's back and forwards, boss. Your call, boss. Let's go back a room and see what happens. There is no chamber behind you. There is a mess of hallways. A labyrinth of hallways, in fact. And if you recall, before you even came into where the hallways turned to this cavern, it was as cold as it was, as cold as it was the winter where you could see your breath. And a series of gates that barred you from entering, but yet you pressed and continued on despite the warnings, and it led you here. Has it been enough time that I could use True Detective at this point, or no? Let's wait an hour. All okay. drugs take an hour to take effect. No, I was just curious if yeah. it had been. <clears throat> well, how about this? Let's just get the fuck out of here. This plan has not worked. Gotta be another way into this. We did mark our ways. Doesn't matter how many rooms, how many anything. As long as we follow the chalk. No, we don't know where to go on the map to get to where we're going. The chalk does the chalk mean anything? <laughs> going back. Alright. <clears throat> I'm for pressing onward. We should move forward. But he, he steps out from the darkness. But if if it's best to go back and retrace our steps, then that's what we'll do. Well, well, honestly, I don't think we're in the same place we started, nor the place that this room even led us to in the first place. 
Things don't make sense right now, and up is down, and left and right, and it doesn't... You mean like when we I... was on that island? Yes. Oh, we was there, but we wasn't there. I... You were Look, there. A, a, a compass, and she holds it out. A compass is controlled by the ground, basically. It's, it's controlled by, by, by forces that exist inside of the ground, not something inside of a room. And look... And she shows you the compass spinning. Yeah, I mean, well, that makes sense because we're normally above the ground, and now that we're in it, it that, that's not to how the ground. Work. That's not how. Let's just move the. All Let's right. go forward. <clears throat> Anything to get out of here. Just step through that door. Elisa pulls up her lantern and is almost hugging it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, while everybody's shuffling into the room, I'm gonna come over to Warren and I'm gonna speak in hushed tones. I'm gonna say, I don't know who you is, but where I'm from, running and leaving everyone behind is liable to get you killed for deserting. Don't do that again. Noted. If you don't do that again, we'll be fine. You step into a chamber. A strange chamber. A very simple door. It opens and suddenly the light of your lantern scintillates everywhere. To the ceiling, to the floor, to the walls, and back in your face. Almost blinding you for a moment in this green viridescent light. As you realize the lantern is shining across this huge piece of rippled fashion glass that is take shape of this large lens, like a Fresnel lens, you'd find inside of a lighthouse. It runs about the height of a man and it seems to be centered right in the middle of this chamber. And you can see within this room there are hundreds upon hundreds of scrolls affixed into the wall along with bound volumes of books that look, if you would touch them, they would simply fall to pieces. <coughs> the whole place is marked upon the ground with <clears throat> this great symbol radiating out from this large piece of fashion three-dimensional glass. I don't know if you know what a Fresnel lens looks like, um, but they're kind of creepy looking. Um, if, you've one up looked, on this. if you've ever looked at a traffic light, they have Fresnel lenses. It looked like this. I'll put it up on the screen for viewers at some point, but it runs almost the height of a man. And it's kind of three-dimensional. It's the same lens you find inside of a, uh, a, la a lighthouse. And the light is just blinding as you shine your lantern into it, so you must turn it away. And this huge kind of octagonal chamber is literally lined with scroll books. Covered in thin cobwebs. A few beetles scramble, scramble, skitter back and forth along the floor where you can see this huge engra symbol engraved on the floor. What's the symbol? Well, your... A secret sign, so it help. Uh, it, it wouldn't. Uh, well, yeah, I would say it, it should, well. In this case, you're looking at what likes an, an old, ancient symbol of the Covenant. One that seems to show three paths converging into one. It is not one you readily recognize today as a symbol of covenant, which is the, the growing tree of the hall with its many branches, but instead it is a, a symbol that radiates outward in three different directions. Very, very old. You would find it in the earlier passages of the Holy Libram in the early days when the religion of the covenant was founded. <clears throat> And there seems to be something ensconced inside this huge three-dimensional piece of glass lens, rippled, carved, like the shape of a person. Not far from here, across the chamber, you can see a small door, but your eyes are just kind of drawn into the sight. And you must be very cautious with your light, lest it suddenly hit, it suddenly strike the large lens and it cascading the green light everywhere. But um, as you rest your lantern kind of to the side, it, you kind of catch the light just right, and it begins to kind of fully illuminate this whole room, like almost like it's slowly spinning in this greenish, 
yellow light from the flickering of the candle, the way that it kind of reflects off of the ripples of the of the lamp, or of the uh, of the lens. But someone's clearly ensconced inside of it. That poor person. They were probably very rich, if I had to guess. Be down here. Brother. I think we let the, the dead lie. They, out of curiosity, I mean, I know I don't have a skull and can heal, but it, does it look like the body's decomposed? Yeah, Well, you begin to approach the green, the green lantern, or the green lens, and it's, it's hard to really take account of what shape is inside there because of the way the glass is carved and rippled, mm -hmm. like it's fluted almost. Yeah. Like, it's, it's hard to really make out. Make a scrutinized test. This test is challenging. Can I assist, or because yeah. I'm down three skill ranks, can you not assist? You can, you can assist, absolutely. You can still assist, yes. Mm -hmm. How are you intending to assist? Uh, well, she'll probably step up and take a look at it after she looks through the symbol of the covenant. Um, try to see if she can see through it with the lamps. Like, How does it assist him, though? Look, I'm just looking at it and pointing out what might be there. Okay. That would be what I would assume. Fair enough. Okay, challenging will make it 31. So the no 09, because of the assist, will help. Oh. Well, it appears the body is kind of affixed into some sort of like iron brace, like it's supported both on its chest and its legs, and it's clearly decomposed. It's been, well, mum lack of a better term, mummified. Mm -hmm. uh, the skin is gray and taut over the bones, and you can see the nose where it's collapsed and the teeth, mm -hmm. and it wears no regalia, uh, save for a long brownish black robe with a high Nehru collar and what looks like a golden filigree um uh, what do they call those laurel laurel yes so it is it is the it is as of the ancient elorinites would wear in the libram they okay. still wear the high collars today but they don't wear the laurel the golden laurel imagine julius caesar but his these are golden laurels the hair is long the fingernails are long okay. and you can see an epitaph rich. at the foot of it Probably Elmeri. I'll look at the epitaph. It says, Here lies Eloran, first of his name. It's about all you can make out. The rest of it has been ruined from the shifting of the earth. <laughs> uh, now it's... Terwin takes a few steps back, kind of pointing and stammering. It's a... Uh... I didn't know that was a person. Where, what where, else where, would it be? Where, 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 where. And I'm saying clearly far back because I don't trust yeah. anything from the Lorenites. We're, we're looking at a god. It was oh. just a saint. And it's probably not actually him. When would because you don't trust the Lorenites, why would you trust that's actually a Loran? But if this was some kind of holy relic, I mean, wouldn't. Wouldn't somebody take care of it? I mean, this place is a little flat. On, I mean, have you seen what the Alonites have fell into? Well, we can't get into a portion of the city because there's witch hunters. But this is a long. It was um, obviously guarded. Oh, it was guarded. I want to look for dust. Is there dust in this room? Oh yes, okay. everywhere. But nobody has walked through here in ages. But not. In fact, not. you can see your footfalls in the dust on the floor. Right. I, I would point that out. Chained, uh, so, someone, uh, I mean, religious, you know. Uh, Maybe he was lost. The city was sacked. This, this the records quote. were burned. How many times has this city been sacked? Just twice now? Twice that I know of. Twice in an age. So think about it. But, but there's still a Lauren Nines here. Like, you can't be the only one that knows about this thing. Wait, so this thing, this, it wasn't a god, right? Lorne? Lorne was not a god. Lorne was a saint. Huh. The founding of the order of the Lorne Knights. Oh, okay. I thought that was the learner's name. 
No. 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 Remember, the learner himself is not. It's a, it's a face of of the deity itself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is his fallen of the three, which is one, which is three. Yeah. 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 It's a face. Think about it as three faces. The god, the god takes on the face of the steward, the face of the martyr, the face of the learner, depending on the situation. Okay. I think I've got it. Or at least that's what my <laughs> my house priest used to say. How about that? Just whatever they take the face off. <laughs> and then, like, switch around put the other one on? Is that what they did? I, I don't know that much, but I, I'm, I'm going to say no, Harper. Um, I think it's a... Right. Okay. Blasphemy in a place such as this? That'll be through corruption. I believe this. Uh, yeah, I... It was a joke. <laughs> Warren matches. That does his... not matter! War- Warren matches <laughs> his blasphemy face. Blasphemy is blasphemy. Warren matches his face against the glass. It looks important. I say we take the laurel as it is uh, insurance. If something goes south up, up top, they're bound to let us free if, if we have information about where it went. What? Well, I, I don't. If they haven't maintained it at this point, why would they care? Well, why would they well, even believe it's his? We have information about where where the artifact went. We could we just we hide it somewhere down here. And yeah. then, they don't even know that there's if an they, artifact. Then if they catch us, hey, we have I've, that. Got, I've got a suggestion. Can can crazy go away? And can I get my friend Warren back? I've been here this whole time. I'm standing right in front of you. No. No, we we lost one a while ago. You've already confirmed that. Warren doesn't indulge. What do we call you well, anyway? Unless it's booze. <laughs> you think I'm gonna give any of my secrets away? I just you know, if I'm not gonna be you say you're not Warren, I mean you can tell me boy, girl, dog. Just tell me what to call you. Call me Warren. All right, Warren too. <clears throat> I've been Warren all along. Who were you talking to before? Yeah, okay, this conversation's getting worn. So we should call it peace. That way it's war and peace. Mm. Uh, okay, so wait, if, if you're Warren, then who were we talking to before? What was his, his name? <laughs> That's very dizzying logic. I, I... I'm just... I... I'm, I'm, I'm with you with it. Right, so here we are. We're, we're looking at the, the body of a saint. Yes. Possibly. And we have a door that we can get out of here. I'd say we just leave. I mean, taking that laurel is asking for all sorts of curses. I'm not touching that shit. I ain't not, touching nothing. I'm not touching it. Yeah. Like you said, that's a good way to get yourself cursed and your family cursed. Can we just the whole city cursed. Can right? we just say one thing? We fought a shadow to get into this room. I mean, that's what it was. I'm not crazy. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, uh, I'm, I have streaks of gray hair. My beautiful golden what? locks are now gray. From whatever, whatever that was. So. The leaves are kind of pulled I think we should stop days. taking things, because taking things has not been, has not, it's not been well for for Warren. It's not been well for Elise. So. It's not been well for Banneke either. Ah, that's what I meant was me. See, I'm not dizzied from you all. Let's. I say we leave everything. Books. Creatures. Elisa just walks past to the door that's on the other side to check if it's locked. The door is shut. It is made of iron. It is not like the wooden door before. It almost appears as if this was the pathway in. I'll shine the light on it so that way she gets a better look at it. Oh, she's got a lantern up it. Shine the lantern up on the iron door. It is covered in dust. This has not been open in ages. There are no scrape marks on the stone floor, nothing. I don't... Look, okay, alright, all right. um... Are the hinges on my... the inside? You know, they would be if they're trying to hold the door in. So my... Looks like they're fashioned with the stone. I I may... I may not be... I'm thinking clearly right now, but... John, Jonathan's friend, um, 
well, not friend, the, the bitch, she stated that she knew this path, and this doesn't look like it's moved for a long time. And if she knew this path, then wouldn't there have been movement? I think she knew of the path. Correct. She said she didn't know the whole way. Right? Isn't that what I remember? Well, even That's if what she, she did, said. She's an Alorani, she wouldn't tell you the whole truth. Why would, send... Why would she send? That's another two corruption for me. Yeah, yeah sure. You are in a you're in the holiest of places. Why? Why would she it's send us through one of their holy spots maybe to get she, in? She would. She wouldn't. You're right. Maybe she didn't know this was here, and maybe she figured. Maybe she knew of another way, and we we took the wrong turn. But here we are, and we can carry through with this door, and we can. Right, so we can more... let the oldest of oldies stay down here. It's almost like we were destined to be here, presented with this wondrous opportunity. Oh, shut the fuck up! We're, we're leaving it behind. Oh, dear God. And you propose we would take from the dead as an insurance. Yes. Could someone open this door, or try to open this door, please? And can we just ignore that? <laughs> please? Is there a handle, or a knob, or anything? There's no, there's no handle um, that you can see from here, but you can see where the flanges of the hinges kind of meet up against the stone and are ensconced inside of it, as if it was a one-way door. Can I just push on it? Well, the door doesn't push outward. Okay. It would come inward. It's almost like this was built to leave somebody in here and to entomb them within. <laughs> I think we can go this way, boss. I think we gotta go back. Can, we pull, can I pull on the door? There's no place to pull the door at. There, well, I should say, this, there were the iron runs against the stone, the runnel, whatever you call that area. Like, it's almost, it's super tight. Okay. Like, this is literally no, you can, where you can, like, grab your fingernails in there and, like... Not from here, no. But you can, once again, you can see where the, where the hinges kind of go into the stone on the side of the door and then into the stone. At least it's gonna look around for, like, a lever. With a werewolf fall, you could certainly uh, probably get this door off the wall. Now, looking for a lever will require you to move all number manner of books and scrolls and to disrupt the uh, the knowledge that was in, was, in, was entombed in here with the Lauren. Do you wish to she'd, proceed? She'd probably like start to, and the second like something crumbled, she'd pull her hands back and be like, no. Yeah, a, a, a cursory search kind of reveals in this large octagonal chamber that you would have to search through the papers and scrolls, and one doesn't quite disintegrate to touch, but it is so incredibly brilliant. You can hear it just crumble like uh, like clay. Yeah, she pulls back at that point. <clears throat> you can see that there are wooden boxes in here that probably have ages old styluses and waxed interiors. They're all closed. Very none of these are really like books in the sense we think of books like this. They're like lead plates. Uh, there are scrolls kept in wooden cases. There are uh, beeswax there's boxes that have little hinges that look for, for beeswax inside where you can write with a stylus. Like there isn't any book bound books in here. Which your education would tell you that this is clearly second age. Like really, really early, like mid second age. Like 400s. Which right now it's, there's 900 and 99 years uh, in the second age um, and now it's year 223 so that is of the, third age. Age. of the third age that's right so it's roughly a thousand not a thousand it's a mid, mid to middle second age so four to five hundreds it's good 700 years old 700 it's old very old so the birth the literally the birth of not only the faith of the covenant but during the times when your ancestors came here from the Forbidden Kingdom. You've had, there's nothing in the Libram that speaks about this place. That's good. Again, I think this has been lost to time. It's leaden... It's a leaden pad. It hasn't been used in... forever. 
So if we don't take the laurel, I mean, like, I mean, no the one. knowledge that is contained within. Remember, no, I wish Lysandra I wish destroyed the Lornite Library yeah. in 942, Second Age. I wish Walter were here. Uh huh. <laughs> if we don't take the laurel, just 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 one of these one of these pieces. Jonathan, what do you think? <laughs> I just want to start working on clearing out these things as a way to like a bargaining calm myself chip you and focus like I have done before. Yeah. I just want to start cleaning the guns. Okay. Elise well, we is looking through but not touching anything as she's chewing on her hand. We're going to be in an area with an inquisition. If they catch us, I don't want to be imprisoned. Do you? So what if you get... You don't want to be imprisoned. You regaled yourself in a bunch of dead people's jewelry. <laughs> That's my prerogative. Okay. The logic is dizzying again. <laughs> but if we take some of this... We take one piece. We take this, and then we're caught with this. That truly is heretical. We take one it piece. Is, it is the point of what they're looking for up there. They don't know this place. I know. I have a feeling they don't know this place. But if we take one piece, and then bring them the knowledge of this location, that would be a bargaining chip. No. <laughs> well, just burn it. Would you really want that crazy person to come down here and burn all this? Yeah, I'm not about to have any Inquisition come and burn this place. Well, as much as I find the lower knights to be, I don't get along with them. They're part of the free for a reason. So telling them of this place would be a store and wealth of knowledge. They'd want to know about it. But consider that they'd want to know about it, and if we walked up with some piece of religious artifact and they saw that it was and did recognize what it was, they'd assume we probably know more than just this. That's where you really get burned. What you're saying is like at a steak. Is opposite of what we need to do. We need to back ourselves out of here. And pretend we've never seen it. There we go. Somebody else is thinking. Maybe. And if Jonathan wants to come back here, and him, because he's not here, then, then that's his prerogative. His path is he's been here and come back all he wants and read to his heart content. That would be the definition of insanity to come back down here of one's own free will. The glass tomb of Eloran appears brittle. You can see crack marks along the glass. Let's leave. I want to take just a moment to look through some of the titles of some of the, the texts and things here. I'm looking specifically for the Esoterica Durandal. Because it, if it were anywhere, it would probably be here. Well, remember that uh, these are not books. These are not titled. I see. And most of them are written in <clears throat> language you can't understand unless you have a skill rank in education. I do. And even then it would be ancient old. It would take years to sift through this. We'll speak all of them. No, there are no spines with titles. That is how old these books are. These, these, <laughs> these words and inf this, this information is. This library, if you will. So I'm thinking here, is it... Would it be possible to say that Taryn were to say, hey, Jonathan, take a quick look, and then, like, when Walter gets here, he could have just a moment to possibly do something later? It'd be wonderful if Walter was here, but he yeah. can't take advantage of that. Sorry. Okay. All right. So Our standing rule is if a character is on here, they don't get the benefits or the drawbacks of that game yeah. session. All right. Alisa is looking to see if anything stands out in particular. I know there's no titles, but... Yeah, a lot of this is... There's just stories that you... I mean, just kind of a cursory glancing. All of it's certainly intriguing. I mean, being able to sift through what's most important versus least important would take weeks. I mean, there's, so, there's a lot here that you could pop, potentially take, and there's no telling what's within it. Some could be useless, useless information, like the flora and fauna of Aglador before <laughs> uh, the, the wield was hewn and the river was diverted along the axe water because it was called the axe water because it was diverted through the forest by the Aridane in the early days from Cauldron Lake. 
Um, it could be as useless as flora and fauna of Aglador, or it could be something beyond that. It could be the history of the Forbidden Kingdom and the kings that came before in the First Age. It's kind of a gamble. She's feeling incompetent at this point. Why not so grab a random thing and try to read it while they're trying to figure out what they're doing? Okay. <laughs> you definitely got to pull a scroll out as you begin to unfurl it. Hopefully not fall apart. Yeah, as you unfurl it, it almost breaks in half. Mm. It just crumbles and it doesn't crumble to pieces. It just breaks in half like a brittle piece of wood. That's like it just falls to ash broken in the center. Even... Even unfurling, the act of unfurling it is what causes it to something break. The paper is so incredibly brittle. Okay. Is there anything left that is legible? <clears throat> you need to clean the dust off of it. And as you can brush your fingers lightly across it, you can see the ink is smudging beneath your fingers. Just the moisture on your fingertips, the grease on your fingertips, causes it to smudge. She'll roll up the two halves and... <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> it's not to say that everything in here is in a similar, of similar shape. If you want to spend time finding something that is semi-intact that you could walk out of here with, you could certainly do that. I'd like to do that. All right. Uh, you, don't suggest... want the, you don't want the laurel? I suggest something two of you or both before you peruse. My father collected books. He had silk gloves to do the work you're trying to do. She holds up her hands that she's wearing gloves, but not silk. Yes, those are glove gloves. We'll tear paper. Why, I don't have silk. Well, I'm just trying to give you an idea of what you're dealing with. I had such a thing, but I left it up above with my, uh, with what I was wearing at the, uh, masquerade, but not with me. So, Honestly, I will do more damage if I pull much more from this ink, unless it's something not paper. Uh, there's plates over there. There's lead plates. I can't I carry this back. Is this really what we're going to do? Are we going to be reading through this? I was just up? waiting for someone to make a decision. If the decision is we want to read this, go ahead. The laurel is a golden and yellow inside the uh, the great wholesome, uh, for lack of a better term, um, coffin of glass. If we can learn something. You can see the shape of the laurel inside, resting learn. slack. Harper feels really uncomfortable here. He's going to take his lantern into the other room. <laughs> Which room? The cavern? The one that we came from? The door is shut. Did we shut it? Harper turns toward the four of you and asks, Someone shut this? No. Oh. Can I open it? Lovely. The door has no handle on this side. Well, ain't this fantastic? Lisa looks around for a moment. Uh, well, this is a wooden door. It is. Break it down. Break it down then. It has no break, lock, no, no just... handle, nothing. It has hinges on the inside that would probably explode to pieces with gunpowder. Or there, the hinges are on the inside. Mm -hmm. Let's pull the pin. There's no, no. It doesn't quite work that way. Um, Keep in mind the age of this. It's you have the flanges that come together like this, and the pins are hammered together the way that these are kind of created. So it take you'd have to work these hinges to get them out. It's not simply pull out like a pin, like a modern door. They're basically what it looks what it's like is like you have one that's empty like a gun shell case, one that is full like a pin, and they're fastened together when the door is fashioned and clamped together with like huge clamps. So you can't just simply pull the pen out. You need to work it out to get it to pull out. You have to disassemble it. Use some oil from the old lantern and put it on the hinges and they'll easily work out. 
I mean, if you know what you're doing, I got some oil, oil on them and use your use your torch. Keep the metal up. Give Scalric and Tradecraft. No. Ooh. Well, let's try. Then break it down, Harper. I don't got anything to break it down with. I can shoot the hinges. You got you a shot to blow the hinge. I mean, I have skull duggery in my. I don't have anything to. I don't have alchemy or. Tis not a trap. Mm. It would require a. Uh, it would require trade craft to disassemble properly. Nope. Mm-hmm. Warren holds out his hands. These hands were made for this sort of thing. Gunpowder would simply blow it to pieces, and it'd be easy to open after that. <laughs> well, for getting this door open. Let me let me see your oil. Uh, all right. Mark off a flask of oil. Give you a pint of oil. All right. Is that to work? Uh, okay. You're pretty sure this is going to take a while. There's quite a bit of rust built up on it. Go ahead and make a hard trade ground test. Okay. It'd be a and tinky. Do you have any tools? Um, I do not have any tools. Flip to fail. Okay. Alright, so this will be a 38 flip to fail. That's a failure. He begins working at it for the next roll a 6, roll d d10. I'll, I'll break off. Oh, you already roll? Okay. Take that misfortune point. Thirty-seven turns into seventy-three. Roll a D six. Okay. Sorry, D ten. My apologies. Add one. That's how many minutes it takes to work this? Six minutes. Let me bid for the next six minutes working on this. Of course, you know above board he failed, but he's trying to work at the hinges. So, are the, is the rest of the room filled with? Um, they're like shelves. Like, yeah, they're all like shelves inset into the stone, almost not floor to ceiling. You can't see like a ladder that would run the circumference as an example. It looks like they took all these different writings and plates, and you're not even sure if it's from the, all from the same person, but mm-hmm. they literally ensconced, a, they entombed Eloran in a library. So yeah, but I'm making sure of is there's no other doors besides this one he's working on and the other one, right? Yeah, um, you look around and there's there's nothing else here save for the iron door that would lead you into this tomb. Well, two ways in. Unfortunately, Warren, you cannot work at three. Well, looks like that's not happening. Got it oiled up. I used all the oil. How right. thick is this door? How cold is it in here? It's not very cold in here at all. It just oh. feels like you're below ground, like in a damp cellar. Or in a dry, very dry a very dry cellar, I should say. How thick is the door? Yeah, I'll knock on it to gauge okay. if, like... Uh, probably a good three inches thick. Like, it's solid. It's like solid like this, like the table, but yeah. three inches thick. It's thick. It's not, it's not a hollow corridor like you would find in... Whoa, the camera just like zoomed in on me and went shoo. I was like, what? I got a little motion sickness there for a yeah. second. <laughs> I cut out of the corner. Sorry, I told you. I cut out of the corner of my eye. Yep. Yeah, it, well, it, it's what I'm getting at is like, it's not the type of door you just kick down. Uh, <laughs> you can certainly try. Uh, Break your foot. Uh, listen. Unless someone else has got any other ideas. If I took some time, could I figure out how much gunpowder it would take to safely blow the window? You don't have a quick burning fuse for one. What Do you have martial ranged? I have martial ranged and that twice. Do you have alchemy? Twice. Do you have alchemy? No. Then no. You'd have to simply shoot it. Okay. Yeah. It's going to get alchemy to allow you to rig up something like that, but some martial range won't. Okay. Martial range allows you to use the guns. That's what the engineer uses. <clears throat> What's okay. that now? 
The engineer uses warfare for like sapping the building. Oh yeah, you like can that. certainly do that. Do you have warfare? Yeah, twice. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll go ahead and make a warfare test. This test will be standard. Wait, what about this heat? Wait, what are you thinking? I'm thinking, um, trying to figure out how much gunpowder I would need to blow the hinges. You know, that reminds me of the time when we was uh, hooking up the whole sun, mm -hmm. and we, we put some uh, black powder in it to send it over the wall. Yeah, stuff is pretty volatile, but uh, maybe we can figure it out. So the two of you, can, they start to kind of take measurements and take some accounts. What about the simple heat? Standard? Mm -hmm. Alright. Do you have alchemy? Banneker? Do you have alchemy? No. And you don't understand the metaphysical properties of metal and wood. Okay. Did you succeed? Yes, with an 04. I don't have alchemy now, and I know that. Yeah. You do, but your character does not. That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> you are a modern you're a modern modern minded person. Your modern character, however, is not. Alright, alright. <laughs> I don't know. That's, but that's a good well, point, but, but your character is not Tim, and Tim is not Banneker, so... Um, <laughs> but you're pretty sure you know how much gunpowder to use, that you could do it safely without hurting anybody. Alright. It'll take a shot. Alright. You can get it. It only has two hinges, so you can rig up two shots to it. Alright. I'll, I'll give you a shot. I, I got, like, 27 shots. Okay. So I can use two. So you to rig the shots up? Yep. So, Elisa, you see this happening, and they're taking basically, they're taking chewing gum, cud in this case, <laughs> straw, whatever they're chewing on, and they kind of spit it in their hands and mix up the gunpowder and fix it there, and they put a fuse onto it, and maybe some gum got caught on the bottom of your boot up above. You uh, affix the fuse onto it, you step back, take it, light it. Any last uh, objections? I'm going to go all the way back to the other sure. side. <laughs> Behind the, the crystal wood. Yeah, shield ready, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I so know. if it explodes, it'll go on your face. <laughs> tuck him. Uh, light it. Light yeah. all of them. Yeah. yeah. Light it, light it. Okay. Hiss, hiss. <laughs> I'm tucking and, and pulling my case. Yeah, I'm lighting behind her, him. Her yeah, heavy shield. winter cloak. Right. Like, as, soon, as soon as we hear that noise, I'll, I'll allow him to get behind me, <laughs> and I'm holding my shield up, just trying to yeah, face. I'll, I'll rub his shoulders, you know, because it helps. <laughs> and then suddenly there's this flash. <laughs> boom! Boom! And then... True Clavender fashion. That's right. That's going to crack it. Wow. Suddenly the great uh, tomb of Eloran shatters to pieces from the sound inside this room. And the papers kind of move and shuffle and some crumble to dust as the entire tomb just collapses and the desiccated body of Aloran collapses to the ground, the bones separating within the clothing, and it falls to the ground, as you can see within the light, the torch light, or the lantern light, the diadem rolls, sorry, the laurel rolls slowly in a golden halo, and Right at the feet of you can s you can see <laughs> sure why not no it's not <laughs> no it it's somewhere it's somewhere far away but the body of the Lord is on the ground and there's thousands upon thousands of pieces of glass and you saw that it was already fractured and the sound of the explosion causes the great viridescent green thing to just shatter into a hundred hundred pieces as still you can see green dust filtering through the air scintillating with light. And just kind of slowly settling in this great cloud, and you are blinded for a moment uh, and alarmed by what happens. All we need to make a routine resolve test to withstand stress. Okay. Seven, seven, seven. Thank you, routine. Yes, thank you, routine. A routine what? Routine resolve. resolve. Exactly. Fifty-six. Seven. 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 Success. I seem to recall you have a trait. Hmm? Don't you automatically succeed all those? Um, you resolve. Banneker. Oh yeah, steal the fortune. You gain three corruption and suffer five mental peril. Okay. You see the body of Aloran collapse to the ground like a ragged doll. It does not smell, it does, there's a, oh yeah, it does, it does smell probably. There's this wretched smell that wafts through the room of 
dry, moldering rot and the sulcher in your nostrils, Banneker. And lying no more than just a few feet in front of you is the broken body of, of Eloran. On that, when Terwin comes to, he's going to walk over to where the laurel is. Mm-hmm. He's going to bend down and he's uh, going to say a prayer. He's going to say, Lena, this was not my intent. Uh, I'm going to place this back where it belongs as uh, I pick it up. As you touch the laurel, <laughs> you need <laughs> you uh, need to uh, immediately uh, make a secret resolve test. Okay. And this is a flip to fail. Okay, this will be a sixty-six secret, <laughs> and uh, flip to fail is sixty-two. Secret, secret. I got a secret. You gonna roll again? Da, 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 I think da, me re-rolling is a bad idea. I mean, if you want critical failure, just go ahead and re-roll that. <laughs> now, last time we did, just we dive right into it. Last time we predicted a critical failure and I re-rolled. It was a crit success, but uh, I'm willing to listen to consensus. Brother man, that's all your choice. I'm incompetent right now. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a mechanic. Uh, yeah. Uh, keep it. Keep it a reroll. Uh, Got two seconds. I think I'm gonna keep it. Two. Okay. You're cursed. Oh. <laughs> turf and turf. Maybe. Maybe Warren has a point. He picks it up and he kind of he kind of stops himself from walking forward and looking at it. As you realize that you're holding within your hand, like. A literally a relic, like the living, the, the the capital R relic. Like it doesn't speak about this in the whole, in the Librum, and you imagine that perhaps in one of these hundreds upon thousands, hundreds upon hundreds of scrolls that are entombed here with Eloran in his, or he has left, or he's interred, that it may talk about the laurel. But this is of not only just great, va- great value intrinsically. But great, but it but could be, hell, it could be something that you could take to the church and have them help you under, and you could you could be hero if you brought this back. What's your order alignment? Uh, adaptability. Adaptability, as I thought. Yes. Yeah. You know. You know. Uh. Hmm. Looks <laughs> for a moment. The tomb is broken. If we leave it down here. Now, I'm not saying we take this for insurance, but we take this and turn it into the church. What? No. No. Put it down. I don't think that's ours to take. Could have been easily gotten by somebody who came down here anyway. Not so easily. The shadow guarded the door. That door? What guards the other one? Right, so you think we're going to just leave it down here amongst a broken boy? Seems ridiculous, doesn't it? I mean, the church could use this. Shit. Are you yeah. seriously agreeing with him? No. Points that Warren covered it going. He wants to use it for insurance against the church. I'm arguing for the church. Why did your mind change just now? Oh, well, yeah. Take a look at it. He hands it to you if you want to take it. I can see it. No! Up close. Let me see. No, you just want to use it for insurance against the church. No, I just want to look at it. He kind of takes a couple steps back and is kind of away from you and is trying to. At least I, I keep approaching her. Yeah, uh, well, well, no, no. I mean, just put it back, buddy. Well, just, just go ahead and uh, go ahead and set that on down. I mean, it, I mean, if you insist. Take not, curse not. <laughs> you you pick you pick up the uh, you pick up the, uh, the gold you pick up the golden laurel and it 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 appears that it was maybe polished when Eloran was ensconced in his glass tomb. It almost seems impossible that they could have put him inside of something like that. And sure, it would have great value because it's clearly made, it's very heavy, like it's made of gold. It looks like it's golden leaf, like it's literally full on gold. The 24 karat is full gold, is that right? I don't know. 48 karat gold! 48, 37. But there's no jewels or anything in it. It's, it's very simple golden laurel. This is the Laurel of Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that just sounds funny. 
Oral 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 very rural Jerry moment right now. I think you just let so, that moral lie. I mean, she looks at it. Do do I get the same compunction that he does, or do I roll against that? Or? No. No. Okay. I, I I mean, it's quite lovely, but to be honest, there's a lot of things with money here, and she sets it down like on a side table or. Whatever they, she rests it on all the shelves near the papers. I, I pick it back up while eyeing him the whole time. <laughs> what? I thought it was. He's kind of late. Yeah, twenty-four. So he's. It's clear that um, Terrence does not want you to get your hands on this, as he's eyeing you, and he kind of pulls it off the shelf. Right, and to be has honest, hand. we'd be taking the person I would worry the most about getting it with us. No, this tomb is desecrated now, and I and I. I understand that I was part of that, but to leave this year, it would almost be a, a shame. Well, what about all the, the books? And the, we just leave those, though? Well, what do they say? I don't know. I haven't had enough time to look through. Well, it depends on what they say. What? That Laurel doesn't say anything. It's gold. No, the books. Yeah, but... I, we're really getting sidetracked here. We have a mission. Leave the hat. If you, boss, if you want to take that damn thing, put it in your bag and let's move on. But I'm telling you, when you look at yourself in the mirror, after you've taken your bath for the first time in these several weeks, you're going to remember this day. If it makes you feel any better, I'll carry it for you. That alone should prove something. Yeah, that should be enough to tell you why. <laughs> no, do whatever. I'm I'm done with this place. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the door. Does it look like sufficiently blown? You're blowing the iron door or the wooden door? The wooden door. Oh yeah, it's blown to pieces. Right. The whole door has been obliterated back into the caverns. You hear you feel a whoosh of cold air in the cold, damp cavern television. I think we've more than worn our welcome. We should leave. Agreed. We'll have to you all. And leave all this behind. Remember, we didn't take nothing from the other. We shouldn't take anything from here. He did call me out on it. Remember that. Lisa walks through the door back to the crypt. Taryn has already kind of placed Eloran's saintly body in a state that will resemble someone who has their hands clasped across their chest as to not leave the dead simply to lie as they are. You should put it back on it. Or at least with it. Put in the robe so no one sees. I think uh, you all should just carry on. I, uh, I think I'm going to bring this up to the church. I think you're making a mistake. <laughs> I'm going to wait for everyone else to leave the room. Okay. I'll leave first. Will you do then while you're here alone, Terwin? I, I'm not. I still haven't left yet. I really think you should go on. You're not putting that back, are you? I think the church should have it. Okay. Adam's smiling, but <laughs> Terrell is not. <laughs> Warren starts to back his way out of the room, watching the entire time. Terrell won't move until he's he's not being looked at anymore. What are you gonna do, Terrell, once he leaves? Uh, Terrell wondering. He's extremely superstitious, right? He, oh he, yeah. He, he, he like I, he believes in magic. He believes in. Like, he believes that people are wizards, all that stuff. And so he is really curious and uh, uh, tapping into his, like, may mayhem side. He's going to briefly put it on just to see what happens. Heavy as a crown of a and you can feel the weight of the golden leaves and the diadems that rest upon your head. Alas, it does not fit. Huh. He's gonna place it back on Lauren's body. Okay. 
and he's going to leave it behind. <laughs> Taryn comes out and, uh, as he's fixing his bags. Yeah, Taryn is uh, like he he places his uh, arm inside the bag like he's holding on to the crown, mm-hmm. at the laurel, and he cinches up his bag and he looks at Warren. Come on, on you. Where is it? Come on. Hold on. No. No. This is the narrative choice that he made. Okay. What has happened has happened. I understand. I, I think I just I feel like need, I would have asked that. We need to let this pass. Okay, I'll let it pass. We need to let yeah. this pass. You're right. Okay. Everybody's given a lot of free reign with narrative in the story with mm-hmm. your character in particular, yeah. so I think we should let this pass and okay. move on. Understood. I'm throwing down a yellow flag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got a yellow flag during Personal. the uh, Personal. During, the, uh, Warren. during an that. ideation <laughs> session. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's kind of a... No, it's okay. It's rough, rough shot rough. over your decision. No. Yeah. It's without a without a doubt, Warren is probably suspicious. Oh, but yeah, that's he, what I was. Just but but to say. but Taryn clearly has in your mind. I mean, everyone's mind. He clearly has it. Just stay away from me with that thing. Please. You're back in the caverns. Don't drop it. Do we have any? No, trust me, I have one. I'm I'm using the torch to try and find chalk marks. And has my mandrake root kicked in yet? Yes, it has. Woohoo! Eyes begin to dilate. You gain one corruption for taking mandrake. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gonna... Things kind of move and shift as you come back into this cavern of terror where the shade was. You run your she keeps running your fingers through her hair, and you kind of help her run your fingers through yours as well. As you can feel a kind of brittle gray hair in front of you, as you pull it out from your scalp and drop it, a single strand. You know, wiry how gray hair is like wiry and kind of bristly. You oh no, pulling out, yeah, <laughs> same, <laughs> yeah. It Couldn't feels really different, and you can see it hanging in your face, Banneker. You're starting to get the poly. Uh-huh. The wings. The wings. <laughs> the wings. <laughs> My husband calls him the Reed Richard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're able to find some chalk lines here. You begin walking, walking through the cavern. It is wet and damp, but you do <clears throat> find your chalk lines, yes. dripping of the water. You begin moving through the caves and until you get away from the caves and somewhere deeper, somewhere within the narrow confines of the undercroft where it eventually it joins bricked walls like this where you can see the bones of the dead interred within, including the same hallway you passed through with that great curtain of darkness where you saw the vases about waist high kind of lining the walls but you see no curtain of darkness so <clears throat> we take out the map here this is the where it kind of split right yeah this is where you got lost before so Elisa pulls it out in the compass and kind of stared about it so Elisa you may substitute uh, your other skill in place of this as opposed to rolling navigation if you wish for the use of your true detective I would like to do my true detective okay so you're using True Detective in case, instead of Navigation, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and roll your test. Your test is going to be routine. The compass returns to normal. So since I'm ignoring my skill ranks, so it's 52. Scrutinize, and a 33 will do it. Oh, you feel pretty good. She kind of moves, she kind of moves with the compass, and the compass kind of spins this way and that as she kind of takes it and taps the top of the glass. and. You feel really good about the direction. You know exactly how to get out of here to get to Almeron's gates. Do this to recalibrate the compass. Yeah, she shakes it. No, you don't shake it, you do a figure eight. Okay, I'll figure. It literally will be. I know it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay, uh, <laughs> that way. Should we, uh, should we erase that chalk so nobody goes exploring that way? What? I don't know what I'm on, so what? Can't hurt. We should erase it. Find a little water from my water skin to erase it. Rubbing it with the bit of your cloth and then your shirt and then retrace yeah. an arrow the correct direction. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Not 
yeah, it's this way. Come on, let's go. So you wander through the burial chambers for quite some time through the Undercroft, and it reveals a a labyrinth of tunnels and burial chambers, and eventually you come to areas that are slightly waterlogged, where the brick has fallen from the ceiling down, intermingled with the bones, and rats are scrambling this way and that, and you could feel a cold breeze passing from somewhere deeper within as you're ascending up, up, up through this, this long, narrow, vaulted hall. And you can smell something in the air. You're not really sure what it is at first until it kind of, you're like, that smells a little bit like campfire or smoke. And you're kind of ascending further and further through. And it's not your lantern, it's not your torch, but you eventually emerge into a low, deep cistern where there's an, all manner of water running from these walls, uh, from these cavern walls, kind of spilling forth in this large reservoir. And far above, uh, you can see what looks like, um, a, it looks like a very large, it looks like a well hole that would lead to this large open cistern. You wouldn't want to swim across it by any means, but you can see that there's winding stairs fashioned into the stone that people have clearly been through. But to get to those stairs, you must first pass through an iron gate that runs floor to ceiling, like you saw before, with the door fashioned into the bars. Civilization above. Familiar. <clears throat> Should we make a we plan? We can do it. Hopefully. Should we make a plan before we go out? Well, we're looking for our friend, aren't we? We know how to get to the docks in this district. Well, Lisa's been there before, right? No. Okay, great. Jonathan has. The problem is we don't have a Jonathan. He was, well, he, he was, Jonathan says, he was our I'm guy. not really sure where we'll end up up above. Well, yeah. if, if we're in the middle of Elmeron's gates, I can guide us to the Lyceum, he says. It's the last place we want to go. Well, didn't we agree to come here for another purpose? Your purpose. Right, to meet Sparrow mm -hmm. and to meet, um, what's her name's brother? Right. The book. Jonathan's so. purpose. You all pause for a moment as you begin to recount uh, through the copious notes that Elisa has taken the reasons that drove you down here in the first place. The esoteric of Durandal. I thought that was in a different city, was it? No. No. What's the name of the brother supposed to have the book that they're both looking for? Or have a path? Know who has the book. He knows where it is. That's it. I don't care about that. I care about getting to my friend. Before he gets wrapped up in this mess. I pretty much just want to go home. But we can't do that until... We, we have an address. So we can ask somebody how to get to this brother. And this brother knows... Jonah, right? The brother knows Jonah. We know there's an Inquisition, but who's putting on the Inquisition? Oh, it's the, uh... The witch, huh? Yes, we know her name. Uh, it was the, uh, Inquisitor? Oh, uh, uh, uh someone, uh, She's flipping through her journals. Right. You all check yours as well. I had to do someone in the other book. Yes. You have cards. People, cards. places, things. I don't know where the cards are. Got the cards. I think we have like literally like dozens of cards. Inquisitor. 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 Who's your brother? Somehow do not have a name for the Inquisitor. Let's see. Maybe I do. Evangelina Falwell. That's Falwell. Falwell. I remember that. I should remember that. Okay, so. Remind me again of Evangelina. She is, well, you've named the organization she's part of, the Lorenite Witch Hunters. 
Wait, so... She's not in Lower Night. Yes. Is she? All witch hunters are Lower Knights. Oh. So they're Lower Knights? I don't know. They're, they're, they're half the... Their, their purpose used to be to learning, but now it's to uh, burn all learning. So they're inquisiting the themselves. Uh, like sounds, a, internal affairs. Sounds very <laughs> sounds very Lorenite. <laughs> sounds like sounds like something they would do. I'm gonna go inquisit myself. Inquisit. I believe I believe it's the hunt and root out heresy is the newest fervor that a sect of that society is latched onto. And this woman is the antithesis of it. There's no wonder, too, for if you look at um, what has happened in the past three years since Penumbra, since the last cataclysm, there's no wonder people have turned to more superstitious times. So we shouldn't go to the Lyceum, because, I mean, Josephine said something about that's it's the place that they're, they're looking for heresy, so... No, again, last place we want to go to. But do you have an address, Booker Street? Right, that's where the brother current location is... Well, that's last known shop location. Yeah. All right. So All right. It's, it's what, Booker Street? Q21B Booker Street. Huh. He lives on a street that's named after himself. Uh, well, I mean, I hope those elms have sure locks, you know? Otherwise, people will be getting in them, right? Elementary. All right, so he's going to he's going to 221B Booker Street. Mm. And, not uh, Baker Street. No, no. Not to be confused with Baker. What um, is Josephine's brother's name? Edward. Edward. Those are hands. But, uh, so we're going, we're going to see Edward, so if these witch hammer folks, do, uh, are they like the stories I have when I was a kid? Do they wear them black hats and black clothes and all that? What are you looking at me? Um, I was from a civilized society in the city. You northern, you crazy southerners and you people of the, of the east, you, you, you're crazy. Well, you see... Uh, pedestrian nonsense. You have lords up jumping themselves all the time. No wonder you guys rebel every ten years. You see, I'm looking to you, not as an accusation, but because you come from a place that has so, didn't have so, so much tradition and education that you might know. There was the word. We had education, so we didn't have these foolish idiots bouncing around trying to burn things. Right. See, I, I don't know nothing except for what I've heard, and usually what you've heard is mixed with something. Anyone here know anything about these witch hammer folk? They're bad. Uh, Not to be trusted. I'd scratch my head as I think of my uh, reverent upbringing. To see if well, you know that um, in the days of, in the, in the modern age, no, modern age, the third age, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, ways of witch hammer have been mostly about recovering books and seeing to the safety of knowledge and <clears throat> whatnot. They're not going around with torches and guns and putting people on spits. But a lot of people have become incredibly superstitious since the last cataclysm and so, the, the fall of the so, blood moon. And now you have this huge... Imagine living in a world that had two moons and one decided to just turn to pieces and now encircles the entirety of the world like some great ring of broken rock. That know. is Mahalma now, and people believe it is the end times and rightfully so. The world where the moon so you can only imagine what Witchhammer has you're not really sure of the state of Witchhammer affairs. Yeah. From your learnings of yeah. course. I mean too much has changed in the last three years. Uh, uh, it, I agree. One of that I mean, there's just no I mean, Hopper, there's no way to tell. The only way to know is go talk to him, and I don't know if that's a good idea. No. no. I mean, I'm not a heretic. Do you actually know that, based upon yes. what you were saying in the presence of I'm saying the Lornites now our... <laughs> are not exactly the same as the Lornites. One of the enemies. paths of our religion is we were just standing in front of the presence. Okay. And... The only reason I brought this up is if we know how to, how to spot these which Emma folks by what they wear. What, the, what we're looking at. But if not, 
we just there's probably some, but uh, I mean, if you're looking for heresy and you're trying to find hidden spots, why, why would you announce yourself every time? There's uh, probably some that no, we won't know. You put the fear of gods in the tomb. I don't know. And like I said, there's probably some. Yeah, there's also probably some that don't look like it. I'm checking think? my phone, but I'm on call. Just you're fine. Sure. I had to do it there, man. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's uh, take a break. And we will return back to Queen of Embers in just a few minutes. Yeah, you have a five minute countdown.
we're back, Queen of Embers. So you were in the bottom of the cistern, looking up toward where the city doubtlessly is, and you can see this winding set of stone stairs affixed into the uh, into the wall of the cistern that surround this future reservoir. And if you were to send up, you feel pretty confident you'll end up outside. That burning smell is. You can smell it down here. Since this, this is Inquisition time, they're going to know that when I'm from outside, you see the same people all the time when you're all trapped in there. So who of us looks the most nondescript? As I, uh, yeah, I, I'll look at I'll look at Banneker and I'll look at the uh, 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 War. War, and I'll be like. No offense, but I don't think either of you would be nondescript around here. I think it'd be one of us Ravanians. Yeah, you, t- you should take pride in that. Sure, it was. Yeah, you look the most like a Moronite to me. No, no, he looks very everything. I'm trying to give you a compliment. So. <laughs> <laughs> You look uh, like a snooty tooty. He's like, he's a, uh, uh, Ter- uh, Ter- uh, like, uh, you know, Terrence kind of like the, the American that uh, idealizes uh, people from Britain. Mm-hmm. Right? I heard mm-hmm. an angle file. Yeah, <laughs> that would be it. <laughs> nice. uh, yes, yes, boss. I, I, I don't care. I, I just, I just want to get this over. Well, if you want me to go first, I go first. And Lisa. You want to take Harper with you? You want to take me with you? I know how to not look like myself. I don't think I need You're actually from this city, like Jonathan is. Which could be a bad thing. Well, I, I was thinking the good thing is you, you might know where you're going. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been through Calterion, but yeah. I'd have maybe at least more of an inkling than you. Your, your, your childhood was raised here, right? So that yes. Was, yeah. We're going to have to talk to someone in order to get directions. Right. And that's that's why I'm saying that. But I can look like not me in case someone has spotted us before. Because though the people that are here are probably sequestered, that doesn't mean necessarily that you know, the, uh, well, the witch hunters have been. Right, so <clears throat> essentially I'm giving you assignment. Yes. The question is, do you want to go alone or do you want someone with you? Or do you want all of us with you? This not is, all. This is not my area of expertise. What's it, Warren? Definitely not all. But it may not be the worst if two of us were to go up, not necessarily together. Meaning meet up, but who's the second? I don't know. Who thinks they could blend in the easiest? It's between you and me. I figure with what I'm wearing versus what you're wearing, it's probably better if you go. I mean, mine are more riding leathers, but yeah. Whereas I'm wearing like a chainmail suit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Who's going out first? It is a long, twisting, winding road up. You come upward. Because they're drawing up Elisa, is pulling white clothes out. Kind of. Donning in disguise. Yeah. Okay. You'll need not, you will not roll this test until, unless you are discovered, and when you are discovered, it'll always be a secret test. So, you don't roll anything for now. You're ascending this winding kind of stone stairwell and you come up into the city. And the streets are hauntingly quiet. You know that Almeron's Gates is home to printing presses and scriveners and booksellers and small libraries and book binders and a university, a very lively district normally where academics and clergy would mingle uh, throughout and students would gather in street corners for lively debates. But today, 
the two of you see nothing. It seems like a distant memory. You've ascended uh, towards kind of a small, a small kind of cul-de-sac that is mostly abandoned. And not far from here, as you kind of ascend out of the cistern into the seat into the streets above, through literally a stone hole, a manhole covered in the ground, you can see what looks like on a nearby street corner, a uh, books that are banded together with a leather belt that are burning and smoldering on the street side. Mm -hmm. You look up toward the soaring apart student departments uh, and the other kind of stuccoed buildings around here, and it's very, very quiet. There's nobody in the streets. You can see a nearby signpost that's been struck down. I have to ask, I didn't know if they put up signposts or if they actually put it on the buildings themselves. It looks like the signposts have been struck down. Not only that, you can see a nearby billboard that has been painted over with this, with a, with a large red X across it. What did it say? Uh, can't tell because the red actually has, has almost been wheeled or it's been over the writing. There's no writing to be seen anywhere here, in fact. You see another nearby building where perhaps a man, a man or a family's family name would be on a mailbox and it's been painted over black. Mm. The words have literally been erased. Is there any words over. written over any of these things? No. Um, secret signs help me to understand any symbols that might possibly be drawn. It's literally a large X. Okay. And otherwise, every every letter, every word, every sentence from advertisements to building numbers to building names and signposts have been struck down as if there was no language to be had here in Almeron's Gate. <laughs> if you, this was an MMORPG, you'd be entering the Library of Ignorance. <laughs> It'd be a Dark Souls. It'd be a Dark Souls level. <laughs> oh, this is strange. It. Well, why addresses? Why, why negative? Seems like any knowledge they're just trying to erase. Seems like any signs, any anything I could point out. And there's no way to know what a street name is to find that. I assumed we'd have to find someone. I was hoping they'd have it etched into the wall because, you know, people like to steal signs. This is what it sounds like. I found it. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta find this. This is pretty funny. The Library of Ignorance is the sound whenever you enter a level on, <laughs> on Dark Souls. Anyway. <laughs> So, all the numbers, all the names, everything's been struck out with red paint, black paint, white paint. Whoever came through here did this with intent purpose. Does right. the paint look like it's completely dry? Has it been there for a long period of time? Like maybe flaking? It's dry. It's not flaking, though, no. Some books, someone just added those. The books burned pretty quickly. And someone's nearby. Well. Normally you wouldn't leave an open fire unattended. Unless you didn't care if it burned down everything around it. So yeah, a stack of school books that are slowly smoldering. Can I see what the book, like, can I read any of the bindings or might I recognize any of the books? They're burning. They've been burnt. The, the gold leaf or inlay has been flaked off. The pages have been burned. The covers are smoldering. Are loosely bound together with like one of those school belts that you hold all your books with. Okay. The air smells of ash and of smoke. It's almost like the rest of Kael Tyrion that's kind of bled away. That this is Kael Tyrion, in fact. But there's it's it's almost soundless in the streets, <clears throat> save for the whistling in the wind in winter. It's cold. Is there any doors near us? In fact, yes. You can see nearby a what looks like an old um, a Miller's post, where where he would trade, he or she would trade gr sacks of grain for coin or whatever it may be. There's an empty garage. There are no coaches to be found within it. No animals. No horses. The door is shuttered shut. Perhaps from within, it is locked. Regardless. Does do they look like they've like these? 
buildings have been boarded up from the outside, any of them? They're not boarded up, no. But the shutters of the windows are locked tight. No surprise there, it's winter. Um, and this door is just, it's closed. You would expect this place to be open right now. And in fact, you can imagine as you look up on the swinging placard above the door, that there would be posted hours, or even the name of who this Miller would be, but it has been, the words and letters have been struck with paint. It has been covered. Are there any markings on the door? No. Okay, so it's not like there's a big red X on the door or anything like that? Or nothing like that? Okay. Mm. The door. Oh, we, open. So if we tried. I think we should possibly find a place. Can't be too much before sundown. We came down here fairly late in the day. We went down there. Right. I mean, we can definitely take a look, but we should take our time. Agreed. But I think that would be our best bet first. We can't do this in one day. No. This is too odd. So Elise is going to start kind of uh, skulking around looking for yeah. a place we might be able to set up camp. You kind of... This is as good a place as any, this cul-de-sac. It appears to be empty, but if you wish to do a thorough investigation, it'll take a little bit of time. Right. I would. I'm fine with that. Okay. About an hour passes and you manage to find a building uh, that is uh, not abandoned, uh, but the the doors are shut and locked, as are the shuttered windows, but you do find a nearby um, carriage house. You enter the carriage house and it's deathly quiet. There's nobody inside. You'd imagine there would be stable hands or coaches or whoever else would be on the ready on this single floor building where people would come up toward a window and they would ask. And they basically the practice is you take coins in your hand, you you tap them on the on the windowsill, you tell them where you're going, and they'll come outside and take you there. There are touts here and such as well. You'd expect, but you can see that this um, that this place is just abandoned. Nobody's inside. Right, because I would take out a coin and I would do that. Just yeah. to see if I could draw anyone to the window. Yeah. Nobody even comes to the window as you tap. Kind of it seems like it's a natural motion, you right. Nobody. This might well, be the best place. Doors are locked. The door is open actually. There's nobody inside as you peek within. It's a one story building with a number of tables and chairs within. Does it appear that it's been empty for a while? Like can we tell if there's been any recent traffic through it? Yeah, I'm going to survival in. test. Yeah, look for any traces of signs. Of... This test will be hard. There's been no snow for a while. Or hasn't been no snow yet, or yet, I should say. There was a light dust. Oh, there was a dusting the night before, but... Yeah, there was a night. That... Wasn't there snow the night before? So I thought was... your test will be routine. Because okay. okay, so it was coming through the grates. And mm -hmm. the, uh, the right. Well. That's right. A 51 beats a 52. Hey! <laughs> Cool. So yes. what is that? Uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah. So, um... By one. <laughs> it appears nobody has been here for quite some time. The mud that is on the floor is dry. I think this is our best bet for a place to set up. Right. We should get the others. It seems like it's empty to get here. Right. We should have to be smart. No fires. Stuff like that. <clears throat> Yeah. You fetch the others from the cistern, and they come topside, and the three of you, including Jonathan, see what has happened, as I described before, without a word about any yeah. building. They take you to a small uh, a small building where a number of touts and coaches and such would be the equivalent of a taxi cab stand, I guess you could say, for lack of a better term, but nobody's here, nor any vehicles, nor horses. All right, so who's the boss? Don Tony Danza. It's Angela. Yeah. <laughs> Angela, yeah. Mona, Jonathan. Hey, you. So is this door like bar or is it latch or is it like a key? Mm -hmm. No, little no bar from the inside. So when everyone's in, I'll make sure to bar the door. The door shuts. Hey. You're inside. Good job. Well, it's well done. Thanks, but I don't want to take credit for finding an abandoned place. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we haven't learned a damn thing since we got here, besides everyone's gone and everything's quiet. It's okay. And everything's burning. We're here. And we haven't been found. That's a good job. 
Now we can take our time perhaps. The sun is setting. That means you've been below ground for about six hours. I think that... Which would normally be in it. Not even an hour to get here by the city, by city routes above. I'm gonna check out this building to see if there's uh, like a way to like. Essentially, my goal is to have light inside the building without anyone noticing. Like, are there? Oh, you can open shutters. Yeah, you you can open the you can open the roost at the where the roof peaks. There's a roost window that would be used to let light in from the east end from the but last during the night. Yeah, during the night. That's, that's, uh, like, I want to see if there's a room without windows in here, Oh, or... this is one large chamber. There are no rooms or sleeping chambers, for that matter. It's really a, it's a communal room where there are tables and chairs, and there's no upstairs nor downstairs. There's simply one door that lets you into one door that would lead to the garages where coaches would be parked and mm -hmm. into the stables. Okay, and then is there any place where, like, are there windows that could have curtains drawn? They are shuttered from the outside and curtains that you would draw from within to keep the wind from passing through. Okay, so if we wanted to have light here and in here at night, it's possible and yep. no one would know. That's right. There is a small hearth as well. I don't know about the rest of you, but I could go for some sleep. It seems to me that the night would be the best time to investigate. I can't see the dog. Well, if we're doing some investigating, we don't all need to go. If you need your rest. She's still kind of shaking. Like, if you just look at her long enough, you'll just see she's kind of almost, just occasionally on her breath, she'll shake. Clearly, she is spooked. You've all been touched. She's still afraid, I think, or still fear. You're out of the situation, you've called. So that has been with yeah. It's passed. She's still really far down on the peril condition, so... So, in order for us to find where we need to go, we can't trust any signs. I mean... No. There are none. What signs? Exactly, that's, that's what I'm getting at. We can't trust any signs, because there's none there. And, uh, I wasn't looking because we were rushing, but... I mean... Did the houses have any numbers on them? Stricken. There are already anything that is writing numbers, letters, any signs, symbols, all of that's been covered. Everything. And it looks like they're burning books by the bushel. So. So, really, the only way we're going to find anything out is if we get out there and we look. Finding someone to talk to would probably be the best, but. Didn't even see signs of people. Okay. Well, at night, we may not be able to talk to anyone, but we could at least get eyes on their layout of the land. We just gather some reconnaissance. You would need light at night to see this through the streets. It's a cloudy day. You suspect that you'll have another snow come soon. You do what you need. It's too bad there's no moonlight. Or starlight. Because then we could do this at night without being. Well. <clears throat> Imagine what it's like growing up in a small town as we would, where the only light you would see when you're off the streets are the lights of a nearby building. Even in full moonlight. Mm -hmm. Now, take that and put it within this world of buildings with tight alleyways and confines and uncertain direction. It'd be even tough to see in these streets of the moonlight. In Boston, didn't they say there was a curfew? Yeah. It would be a... It might be a bad idea. You think anyone that would be walking around enforcing curfew would have a, to would have a torture of lantern, right? They wouldn't be just fumbling around in the dark, would they? I think you're right. Well, I've had a long day. I'm, Get I'm you some rest. rest. I'm gonna need it. When I can take first watch, do you intend to rest here and set up a series of watches? Sounds like I'm going out. 
monk. Really knowing you for sneaking about. Yeah. Pretty easy to sneak around and hide when it's so dark. I'll take off these jewels. They won't glint too much. So, so I won't glint too much in the, in the darkness, but I'll make my way. I'll tell you what I know when I come back. You don't need someone to come with you. You can if you want. I feel bad if you went out there and got yourself cold or hurt. You didn't seem to care for me very much earlier, did you? It's about enforcing rules. Now, if we get in trouble, you're gonna run? You're gonna leave me behind? Or are you gonna stand and fight? It's hard to say without being in the situation. I'll go with you if you don't promise to leave me behind. I can't make any promises. All right. If the two of you go out this evening, you will not have rest for the night, and you'll be suffering from sleep deprivation by the time you return. Do the two of you intend to go out there this evening? I'm going. If you want to come with me, you can. I'll go with you if you follow me orders. <laughs> okay. I'll do it. All right, I'll go with him. So the three of you will remain here and rest? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess I'll take first watch. Okay. None of you feel comfortable with this prospect, particularly being left alone as a girl with you. It's one corruption. Actually, I'm going to fake that too, because Elisa slips to the side. Mm. Happens to take some laudanum. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, I am... Um, I have persecution complex. Right, and I think because uh, Terawin is advocating for something that is clearly dangerous, he's going to gain three instead. Okay. <laughs> you're endangering not only your... You're endangering everyone. Yep. Split the group. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the three of you will, at least for a bit, rest. Yeah. We'll see what unfolds back here at the homestead. But out in the city streets, it's different. Night has fallen upon Kael Tyrion, in particular it has fallen over Almeren's gate. And you see no gates, at least from where you're at, <laughs> as the two of you step outside, closing the door, and you hear a kathunk as Harper draws the lever from within. You're standing outside and a light snow begins to fall over, a light dusting. Warren takes off all his jeweled finery and puts it in his bag. Before he leaves, I'll ask him, you want me to look for that out? You want me to keep an eye on that for you? You're taking it out there with you. Taking what out? I'll point to your pack. Oh, yeah. I'll leave it behind. Um, but what I'll take out from it is I'll take out a lantern, but I'm not going to light it yet. Okay. The door shuts. Ka-thunk. Clank! Bars are on. And I'm gonna um, try and spend some time adjusting my eyes at night until eventually I probably realize no, I can't adjust enough. And I'll say, no, you know, it's not working. I used to be doing stuff at night, we just give it some, some time and we could see. Shit. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's clear as day. You can see. How many any fingers am I holding up? Three. Um, when he says that, I'll uh, I'll say, lead the way, and I'll place my hand on it on his shoulder. <laughs> uh, so I've got uh, um. A lantern in my right hand, and mm -hmm. my left hand is on his shoulder. But the lantern is not lit yet. Okay. Who's leading who now? I told you I'd be <laughs> following you. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Couldn't help it. All right. <coughs> <coughs> you be 
begin to wander through the streets. It isn't very long until you hear the sound coming from an, another road as you just kind of wander first away from here. But as you come out of the cul-de-sac, you see this group of people running at top speed. One woman is carrying a child. A man has his child in tow with him, and that child has another child in tow. So kind of his family's fleeing through the street, running at break that speed, looking over their shoulder, running through down this long road. I hide. They, bl- they blaze past you, running for their lives. What do you think they're running for? Wait for a few minutes. Both of your Mike eavesdrop tests. Uh, difficulty? Uh, it is going to be routine. 51? Twenty-six success. All right. You can hear this sound of footfalls. A number of them, in fact. And as you hear it, and you kind of press your back against the back of this alleyway, you can see light coming from around the corner. You dare not peek lest you lest you reveal yourself. And you can hear where they're running from. They're running from a nearby alleyway. And there's this group of men and women that are bearing torches and they're hooping and hollering. And they're walking very slowly. And uh, they are armed with, with barbed flails. They're wearing these loose shifts of rough spun wool in tall high boots and you can see up on their foreheads there is this symbol of a cross of a cross in a circle can i get an idea of how many there are you see three for now you suspect there's more in tow whole family These zealots are kind of a pause for a moment as the two of you are inside the alleyway. Both of you need to make secret stealth tests. <laughs> oh, I think they came this way, humility. Mm-hmm. The man says. Thou shall not commit the Yeah. Uh, no, this is not <laughs> I have a 58% chance to succeed in their old 22. Hopefully. Okay, I've got a uh, 37% chance and I rolled a 15. Would you like to keep that? <laughs> I already re rolled it. So, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, you. Yeah, I rolled like a 67. I rolled a 75. Yeah. Right first, but now I, now I have 20. You could succeed it. Yes. The Granger family has tasted of butter. They live 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 life too deliciously. There's a conversation happening between the zealots. The Grangers must have went this way. Let's go, Charity, the other one says. To me, Plymouth. And then the three of them begin kind of picking up the pace. Moving past the alleyway within just mere yards of where you're at, as you're within the shadows of the buildings, and the zealots press on. Uh, when they they get away, they're gonna have little children. They're gonna have bloody long children. Keep your mission in mind. What did we come up here for? 
remember the Baroness. Yeah, fucking no. Remember Steed's Hill. We're not here to save children. I'm to save the bloody goddamn recession. Alright, I think it's time to go. Mm hmm. What are you going to do? Follow him. We'll continue exploring. Well, this entire district begins to kind of slowly open up a twisting number of labyrinthine roads. And you're not really sure where you're going. And in fact, it's a little hard to keep track of where you started. So, roll a navigation test. <laughs> it's night, so it's going to be hard. Okay, so that's going to be a... 33% chance to succeed. And since I don't have a train, it's for look to fail. We're the best. So that's an 81, and it's a failure. And a 61. Still a failure. As you kind of move about like 16. 15, 20 minutes, you start to feel really uncomfortable realizing that you could probably make your way back from where you're at here if you turned around now. But if you go any further, you could end up lost in the city. There's no, there's nothing to mark your way. There's no signs, no words, no iconography. They've all been struck out with paint. Oh, I'm clueless because I can't see. I'm just, <laughs> I've got a hand on a bat, yeah. so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Warren stops. The shutters of every window are shut tight, as yeah. are the doors. There's no light coming from any building, nor is any chimney smoke pouring forth from any low, low, low any sort of home or anywhere. There's no animals, there's no chickens, there's no dogs, there's no cats, there's no trash. The, uh, clearly the, uh, you know, there's, there, there's debt, there's detrius has been tossed out of windows, defecate, there's, no, the chamber pots have been sat out. Or they've sat out and they've gathered snow and ice up in them. This is... You can also hear sounds of others in the city, but you're not really sure where they're coming from. There's Every once often you'll see a gold, like a red halo of light above a nearby building. That would probably indicate that books are being prodded. But uh, you don't, you can smell kind of smoke ash in the air every once so often. It's not like the city's on fire by any means, but you can see those, that burning light in the darkness. There's just so much to keep track of. There's no street signs, there's no markers, and this damnable snow covers everything. Even our tracks. We can go a little further. I oh, can't. We can't go any further. Let me keep it all in my head. We should go back. We're gonna come back. Nothing. We found out something already. What? There's still good people in this town that are being persecuted like this. I said we go forward and chance it. We're still not going to be able to find Booker Street until we talk to someone. You think it's going to be any different when the sun comes up? <laughs> It'll be worse. We won't even be able to hide then. I think we should go back. Otherwise... We could get permanently separated. We could get lost. You're right. We should go back and get the Laurel for insurance. Yeah. Turning back? Yeah. There's a the door. Who is it? No. <laughs> How skippy. You do a series of secret knocks that's returned. Right. Yeah. Like, I'll open it. So that is exactly what you do. <laughs> yeah. We're doing the most obvious knock. <laughs> it's actually the same. Backwards. It's actually the Mario song. 
It's a it's pretty funny. Okay, so the door opens and they kind of come inside and they're a little cold as they kind of come towards the there's no fire actually, I should take that back. There's no fire in here. Inside fire. You close the door, shut it, latching it. Right. At least it's passed the F out. Song logs. She took some lot of them and just went. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's bad hard. Mm-hmm. What you find? Not much. I couldn't see a thing. But what we did see, we saw a family. <laughs> there was four of them. And they was, uh, they was running. And yeah, we he had those uh, fanatical type that the coffin symbols in their forehead and carrying f- freshened flavors that they're putting spikes on. You know that lot. Like they was chasing after them, talking about how they lived life too, too, like. Gluttonous, basically, by using butter. Wait, what? Yeah, they think using butter is a crime. So it's... everything's better with butter. <laughs> As an Adelard would say. <laughs> Every <laughs> Adelard has an Adelard house motto. Everything is better with butter. <laughs> Everything is better with butter. Let's just make. I mean, it's Every <laughs> Adelard known for their voracious appetite. Every Adelard. Pretty, pretty corpulent. Pretty, yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty. You're not there, right? No, I mean, I'm, I'm a coven. I mean, he's uh, clavenger. Clavenger, but. Oh, yeah. You know what you gotta learn to say? It's like, warning shots, not words, and. <laughs> Is the yeah, everything's, <laughs> better everything's better with, with butter? Is the Adelard house motto? There was only three of them, and you know, they was chasing after children, and I wanted to, I wanted to put them down. So it was going to be killing children. Bill Warren talked me out of it, and he, he made the right decision. Yes, the right decision, as they say, is you gain two corruption. Yes, as I'm trying to rationalize. <laughs> yeah. This, but... <laughs> You've given in to the seductions of not Warren. <laughs> yeah. Unless there's anything else you wish to do this Warren evening, safe or keep <laughs> keep watch, we should probably yeah move yeah. things forward. Yeah. yeah. All right. Warren so, will not go to sleep, though. I know. Interesting you should mention that, Warren, uh, because... At some point, you Not feel Warren doesn't want to relinquish control yet. Yeah. <laughs> you feel a tugging at the back of your mind, and there are these whispers. You feel the brush, uh, you feel cold air all around you as you awaken. There's kind of a, a firm kick in your side, Warren, as you awaken on the, off the floor. It's cold. You can see a gray light coming through one of the nearby windows. The others have already awoken. What? I'm back. Warren uh-huh. stands up. Well then, where'd you go? Where are we? We're in, we're in our man's gates. We lost you when but we were underneath. It was just, I went back to get my talisman and everything's just a blur. You got it, right? Yeah. Okay. What happened? We met your passenger. Yeah. I'm glad you're back. Check your bag. Warren looks in his bag. His satchel full of riches beyond belief. What is this? You are the half. Yeah. Treasures. We took it. We ran into some trouble. We ran into some grave robbers. 
and uh, it was Robin Graves. And so we tried to talk, you know, all nice like, and they, they thought we was, you know, like a 40 figures and tried to fight us. So I had to kill a few before they'd listen. And uh, some of those sounds familiar to you. Mm-hmm. Well, you're the, you, your passenger. Have... That's a good way of putting it. Your passenger decided that, you know, you should adorn yourself with the finest of regalia. And uh, we went further through. Well, that ain't right. This ain't mine. As he takes it and starts to put it away, put it, put it away. He doesn't want it anymore. I can't, I can't be taking this on me. I can't be profiting from the dead. It's just a cob. Yeah, word, that ain't a word I'd be saying. Macabre. That ain't a word I'd be saying. What? Macabre. What's in my mind? He seems really confused. Did we recover to imperil? You recover to imperil, in fact, all of you. Unless you have a talent that allows you to recover to and hinder in unsafe places. Um, I thought you said we'd be suffering from. I'd be suffering from sleep disease. Well, you didn't continue that. No. You did not oh, continue okay. that. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Yeah. You went back. Nice. Remember. All right. Well, <laughs> hey, you know, that to be honest. So. You all decided to go back. <laughs> you all, the two of you. Cool. It's all starting to make sense to a degree, I think. Yeah. Listen, the, uh, Lord, I, uh, yeah. Everyone knows now. It was obvious. Wow. Yeah, you weren't really you, bud. And anyway, the passenger thing wasn't me. That was Warren. Mm-hmm. We talked about it when we were on the shitter. Is that what well, men talk that's about a when they do? Warren, <laughs> <laughs> because of the actions of said passenger, everyone here knows about it now. So, is there anything we can do to help you? Well, all I can say is, I get the feeling that she's listening now. No matter if she's taking control or not. So watch what you say around me. He's looking toward the gray, the window where the gray light is passing through in the morning, the roost window. Does that mean that you can kind of understand what's happening when that, when, wait, did you say she? That's what they get the feeling of. It just seems right. She. Huh. What is she and when did you get her? Well, if I remember rightly, it was the night when everything went south with the, uh, back in, uh, candle maker shop. Yeah. You know I went missing? Yeah. Sure. That's when something went happened. I just got this feeling it's, it's got, it's got something to do with this whole succession thing. Someone wants to watch what you guys are doing, what we're all doing. I don't know if she's reporting back, but it just seems too damn convenient. So, do you remember certain things about when you was gone? Yeah, it's like trying to piece together a night after you've been drinking too much. Because I... (laughs) Yeah. I have something that she wants. And I'm thinking... Something about a relic? Yeah. I'm thinking I should switch places with someone, but if she can hear me now, I won't say who. Catch your meaning, I think. Hmm. So... But... How do we fix this? If I remember rightly, Something about Jonathan catching something on that uh, in that tomb. Something about it. Blessed something. Ritual. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Something. What I'm saying is maybe we can use that to draw her out. I mean, if we were going to do it, this would be the right place. Make, Quiet. Make her leave you? Or do you mean make her appear? Uh, I don't know how it works. Anything we can do to help. This would be the place for it. Because when we needed you, she up and ran, and... That ain't like me. No, it's not. 
<clears throat> and his old girl stood her uh, axe in his back, and he's kind of hunkered over. <laughs> and you can imagine Sam saying, "You old blockhead!" <laughs> Sam, oh shucks, like I got a rock. Like, <laughs> It's, it's, good old, it's a good old war. It's a good old boy. I tried to. My Uncle Jesse's all drunk at the shed. <laughs> I tried to make things real clear of my disapproval. And, uh. Well. Apologize for any hardship I called you, Kaja. I mean, can't say it's any of my fault, but, uh. Whoever it was that did it, fuck him. Yeah, but see, the thing is, is I can't exactly do that because then it would hurt you. There's a, there's a way of handling deserters, and I don't want to do that to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can always tie you up. Well, let's not go so drastic. You seem to be yeah. mistaken precisely what I learned down there, Jonathan says. I don't think you have any inkling of what's happened, he says. More probably, I don't think any of you do. No. Understand the gravity of what I've discovered," he said. <laughs> no, we don't. Well, no. Let's not dwell on it. Don't pretend like you know, because you don't. You're right. I have a slight inkling. I could not. You have it, but no I've read understanding," it. he says flatly. You're None the, of you do. You're the one who said that you could help. So now is not the time," he says, dismissing you quickly. Let's let's focus on the problem that Fine. we can actually work on. Which is this city? I think maybe rituals is what does it to him. Once again, Terwin, he says. Another time. All right. Yeah. So. But she was looking around and seeing everything in the night, wasn't she? Yeah, she was leading me. And she's quite effective. Hmm. Could have her uses if we can keep control of her. Wait, well, could, we can't. She could see in the dark. Yeah, like, I couldn't see anything. Nothing at all. I couldn't even see Warren, or well, the passenger, in front of me. It's still Warren's body. And, but I could feel Warren in front of me, and it was very confident of where it was going. <laughs> oh. And then we saw... Bloody fanatics chasing after that family. We should have saved them. We wanted to. Well, let's go kill some fanatics today. Well, it might not be the best idea to start an upheaval. Oh, but... best <laughs> ideas have never really been well for this group. <laughs> I don't know. I just got a feeling that we're going to have to break something today to get this solved. It feels like a breaking day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go do it. Was um, I able to fix any of the guns during the downtown? Roll a tradecraft test for one. I don't have tradecraft. I mean, I have martial melee, or martial range, and I have... Oh, sure. Yeah. Either one. I, uh, can't, remember, the, I takes, can't do the gun that I was carrying. He's got warfare, so too, So, it takes right? an hour to clear it. Oh. You don't roll anything, then. Okay. Clear the chambers. They're all intact. Okay. Yeah, so I'll clear up. There was one that blew up that we had. Right, there was, so there was yeah, six yeah. total, one blew up, five we recovered, and I would have would cleaned them all. He has a little garrison of guns fanned out across the nearby table. <laughs> Flintlock pistols. Just... And a pile of fucking treasure. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to pull over these people, these people are going to come back and be like, <laughs> We're so wealthy! <laughs> <laughs> no, they're going to be like, now they're really going to think we're, ter- we're heretics. <laughs> yeah, Wands. or that too. <laughs> well, they're in working order if anyone wants one. Oh, no, I'm shoot one of those. Well, you point it and you pull the trigger. It's the simplest lesson I can give you. Actually, I guess I have shot one. Was pretty. Thanks I don't trust the these, that don't trust these contraptions. That she shot in the back of her I mean, it's not as good as the one I got, but yeah. Warren's a Luddite. <laughs> it, it, could bl- it could blow up in my hand. It, it should blow up in my hand. What? Pop, 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 pop. I mean, I can reload for free, but sure. Uh, I, I guess take it. Yeah. <laughs> this looks good with them in your... Yeah. I have a whole bandolier on them. I'm like... It's the like... Father? Yeah. 
the father. It's father. like that Star Wars that toy that was a bandolier you could put all your figures in. It's like the Wookiee thing. Oh, yeah, thing. that was really cool. Mm-hmm. It's all pistols. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah. And that crappy, like, uh, backpack that was like, you mm-hmm. could do it too. It was a firefly. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> what was it in the shape of? Oh, it was C3PO's head, wasn't it? Right. Go all the way, way off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm way up top. Yes. You're making cannon. Those things is nothing but trouble for me. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm just saying they're working now. Yeah. Well, those let's are split them up among us. Whoever can take one. Because. Yeah. Well, let's split them up among us. Whoever can take one. Because. If you're not going to use them, it's at least wealth. That's true. And it's. I mean, I can that, carry it. That right there. That ain't gonna make you. St- you'll be able to sleep at night when you saw that. Mm-hmm. Taking the guns out of the, the wrong folks' hands, mm-hmm. and probably selling them to the wrong folks. <laughs> Subjective, I suppose. Well, I won't load them for you. Yeah, we don't actually <laughs> go off on for those that don't know how to candle. I think it's a butterfly effect. I'm not sure right. who you're selling to. So any ideas on how we're supposed to do this in, in during the daylight? I, know, I do enjoy the prospect of being able to break something, but I don't think that's the best idea to do first. First we need to find out where people are gathered, because there's obviously still people in this district. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so, we'll, we'll find where tomorrow. they are. Perhaps we can retrace your steps. We still have to have some kind of commerce to feed a district. Retracing our steps won't do any good, because what wasn't anything to retrace to. Well, we didn't really find nothing except for except for a family that ran in mm-hmm. a certain direction. And, yeah, and people I that chased them in a certain direction. Right. I mean, I suppose we could look for like ash and footprints, but it was snowing when we came back. Everything's gonna be covered up. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, then let's embark randomly. Then <laughs> I hate that, but yes, that's what we're gonna have to do. Well, then. Yeah, get a lay of the land, keep lookouts. What Sorry. were they wearing? You said People there's a loft were... area? There is not, no. It's where the, you can see that's a, oh, a, a just one the window. The roof kind of it, meets right here. It's like kind of a. Like a gable or something? Yeah, like a gable window. Um, okay, I was just going to see if I could go up there and look out. See if I could. You could, with a, absolutely you could. It's narrow, and you cannot climb up, you clamber up this. Flatter. I'm trying to look yeah. for like, the biggest building that I can give a reference point of reference to. Well, it's you can see, um, or you can see what looks like a building that kind of soars atop everything else. As you begin to describe it, that's when um, that's when uh, Jonathan says, "This is the Lyceum. That's okay. the uh, Lauranite Ac- Academy." Okay, and can I it's tell? It's the Lyceum. Where the, I can tell where. Can I tell where the sun's raising and setting? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, then I can tell what direction the Lyceum is in, and you know, a rough estimate how the crow flies. I don't know how it's described in this world, <laughs> but the crow, it's this far. <laughs> now, Jonathan, get us where we're going. <laughs> He shakes his head. I don't really know where we're at. I'm trying to give you the descriptions. You said you could get to the Lyceum. He shakes his head. I don't think I can help you. I might have an idea. Yeah. It's been a long time, but I have been here before. Well, then we're setting out blind. I don't know what else to say. This is if we can the Lyceum find is a, this way. To be honest, the Lyceum is not necessarily the place we want to go. No. So. I know. If we can just find our way back to here, that's all we need at this moment. We have chalk. Yes, we do. That may not be the smartest thing to do, though. Numbers. For other, for other, all right, numbers is good. Yes. Uh, and we're going to stay right. together. Actually, any right. writing has been painted over. Don't you think that they might catch on if they see something written? Right. So, what X is? Well, if there's snow on the ground, maybe put it low. Keep notes. Is it still snowing? Yeah, what's the shit? There's snow outside on the ground, but not much. Maybe half an inch. If there ain't anyone out there and it ain't snowing, we can just follow our footsteps back. 
just scribble a whole brick. I don't know. You guys are making this complicated, and I don't know how to fix it. So. All right, here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna go out there. Just keep some notes in your in your in your book, in case uh, in case snow falls. But otherwise, we're gonna rely on our footsteps leading us back here. Which, I mean, the building's are distinct enough. I should be able to somewhat map it. Right. Either this. that, or we find a new building. Then leave nothing here. Nothing that we don't want to leave behind anyway. Yeah. Alright. So you're gonna step outside? Yep. Glad to be rid of it. Uh, Would you like me to take the first step? Why don't the two of you go out there for a minute? I'm gonna talk to um, these two for a bit. Okay. Alright, boss. So when they're clearly out of earshot, Mm -hmm. I'm going to whisper, but I'm going to say about her. Look, you know, I took the laurel of uh, Elon. The gold thing, yeah. Yes. I didn't. Oh, God. I left it behind. I put it back on Elon's head. I'm glad you can say that, boss. Alright. All right. It makes me feel better. So I gave it to one of you two. I don't care who has it. But as far as Warren's passenger needs to know, I gave it to one of you two. All right. All right. All right. All right. We can do that. <clears throat> the bag did seem a bit light. I didn't want to say nothing. Gold Teddy. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go out there and come, you two come back out in about five seconds, eh? Alright. Done, boss. And uh, I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna look at one and say, I don't have it anymore. Laurel? Yeah. You left it behind in the, the coach house? No, I gave it to one of them. We should just leave it behind. We should be rid of it. A lie. One crap. <laughs> An important lie, specifically. Mm-hmm. It's fine. One that is necessary. Absolutely. Should you be a? Should he find out the truth? We should just be rid of it completely. We, this, we ain't meant to have it's it. It's back in us. It's the. Soundtrack for that. Oh, sounds so much like it. Tell them I gave it to them. All right, <laughs> we came back out. Ready to go? Yep. Let's do this. <clears throat> Maybe I should look a bit ahead. No, this plane ain't exactly safe, so. Actually, uh, it went much better. I can help if you want. Could be useful. <clears throat> you leave your safe haven. You step out from the alleyway into a twisting rut of a road, and the book, the, bur- the books that were smoldering the night before have been snuffed out and are covered in light, in a light layer of snow. The nearby buildings have been covered in snow as well, while the eaves of the roof and the gutters can gathered in drifts before the ground. The snow crunches very softly beneath your feet. I'm gonna make sure my nice wilderness cloak is uh, like, keep Sam, it tight uh, around you outside. We'll keep a hand on the gun. It's daylight. <laughs> it's a gray. Day. It's a day that's mostly gray. There's no real sun to speak of. It's just kind of obscured beyond the clouds. A yeah. Cold winter day. And is the only real difference between our surroundings the fact that it's light out and it stops snowing? Is it still just like dead silent? And... It is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. No I would, humans. I would assume that if we were happen to can't hear anything. Mm-hmm. Not far yeah. from here, you see a wild. You see not a wild dog. You see somebody's dog down the road. I would assume that if we're seen, probably going to be in trouble anyway, right? I don't know, but probably. I reckon. I'm. I'm thinking maybe weapons drone. 
So we'd be ready? Well. Yeah. Only I have disguise. And then I would put my like fake arms, like I'm like secret service guy, but they have like newsies <laughs> underneath. <laughs> fake arms on the outside. Can I hide my light crossbow under my wilderness cloak? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Walking around like this. <laughs> Very sneaky. Two handed weapon. Boom. But yeah. Hold like a rifle down and then. Ha ha! Blam! That's up to you, boss. I mean. I'm not necessarily doing that. I'm just curious. Those that can. I can move ahead of it. Surprise if you do that. <laughs> those of us. Those of us that can. Scout ahead, I recommend we do that. Okay. Okay. What does scout ahead really mean in this context? Yeah, um, for, <laughs> I'm wondering, I'm maybe wondering. we should define some roles uh, next time on <laughs> Queen of Embers. Uh, Queen of Embers Z. So we will <gasps> we will wrap up moved. here no. for the night. Get the spirit ball. Uh, everyone gets 100 reward points, obviously. Which is good. Need those. And, uh, <laughs> if you don't need them, I'll take them. Oh, crap, I forgot to move my points for this old sheet. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good thing that you did keep that original. Yeah. Does anyone know our total reward points at this point? Uh, 100. Oh, total, though. Right. For this profession? I have to always total, have yeah. to make sure I'm close because I'm like, uh, you should be 10 buys into this one. Ten I think I'm with buying. One with now yeah, I am beans. buying this time. What's that? Four? Ten. I was thinking we were only eight. Then. Am I really missing two? Ten. Eight, nine, ten. ten. I wrote yeah, down he's about to buy his eleven. Nine, yeah, so. that makes sense. I haven't missed a game. So. Yeah, you should be buying I'm at your ten. 11. I'm at ten buys. You're buying your eleven. Yeah. Oh, I should be buying eleven. Jesus. All right. One, two, three. Yeah, three, and three, I have five, one six. extra because and now you, you I brought missed, reputation points. You missed the first four sessions, though. Or two sessions or something like that. That That's be, right, so... Yeah. I'm ten. yeah ten. I have ten. That's just, and I'm one behind. I'm, I've am i been one behind him the entire... So I missed four sessions. So that's... Well, about the entire time. I can't remember if she missed four sessions or two sessions, and it's four episodes. <laughs> Crap. Alright. All right. So let's play an old tune by the uh, by the Grawlsteaders as we work through all our initiative. <sighs> Our pants is up there. Girl Sir song. <laughs> Crap. I mean, those are all the dates, so that I have. I write down hundred and then I write down the date. Actually I can't remember if you level set me with everyone or if I started at zero. You were level set. Okay, You're so like then I would be at you should 11. be eleven. I thought I was level set, so okay. You did miss sessions. I'm did pretty I? sure you've missed sessions. Oh, I missed one. I'm pretty sure I've Yeah, you got stuck at work. And no, it was because my brother came into town. That's the only one. other ones I've missed, it, it's canceled because somebody else missed two. Yep. So there was one I actually missed that was storyline because I'm only missing one entry from here. Any I've missed uh, have okay. always Yeah, I was just doing game. what Mike does, and in this case, Mike is a single source of truth. Unless you're marking it. Okay. I just. The important thing to remember is track your own reward points. Right. For everybody around the table. I do, I just don't. Mark it, my... spend it, subtract it. Yeah, I just don't. You have, I just a, total reward... mine, you have a total reward points and you have a current reward points yeah. value on your sheets. I'm always one behind. I just wanted to make sure I was using <clears throat> How many advances are you into intermediate tier? 10, 11. Including 11. the trait? Yeah. Uh, 10 total. So I have plus the, the uh, 100 into the next one. Plus the trait. My gunslinger trait? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody should have 11. That's impossible. You should have 10 total. Including the professional trait should be more, more, more than 10. I have myself a total of reward points of 3,800. As of today. Which would put me... Because it's 2100 for first. Right? So, Mike, where Mike has missed session, so. So then 17. Remember, so, he went to Europe. Europe? I was in Europe for two weeks. Right. So, we didn't play that one week. We played the week. We didn't play one week when you were gone. Okay. We didn't play one week when So, that means someone could be at 11. 
That's right. Exactly. Yeah, okay. like I don't keep track of my total, but I write it down every single session. Yeah, right. I got. Oh no, I'm at thirty nine. Trust Adam will keep it. Yeah, I got. I got dates. That's why I look at his. I'm at thirty nine hundred currently, so that would mean because I did not transfer. And I have eleven because I bought some of the reputation points that you allowed me to do. Let me buy one. That might be true. Did it cost me anything to switch a skill rank? It did, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's double. You did spin. Yeah, right. so it's... Because I'm about I'm glad you asked, because it's on pay... It's on. It's in the player's handbook. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and I believe it's on the player's handbook and on, I want to say, page 87? Double, so double, buying skill double, rank, yeah, double reward double. points for the skill. So it cost me 400 instead of 200. Uh-huh. So, that's right, because you bought, didn't you buy um, Skull Dagger? that's right. So, okay. let's do Corruption roll. Corruption roll. Yeah. Yeah. Corruption! How much corruption did everyone get? Six? Six. Sixteen. Um, What'd you get, Tim? Corrupt roll. I got one. See. <laughs> Slagger. Ten. Cat. Nice. Oh, yes, I just got a point. Oh wait, no, I'm at nine. So I really leaned into nice. that. Like, so I what's your what's your order oh, what's your order value cast value, Warren? So if you roll ten, you gain it. No. Order. 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 Okay. Yeah, order. Um. So my yeah. order is at five, and Unless my you broke ten. chaos is at four. What about you, Lisa? Two and three. Nine and three. Okay. Wow. Nine and two. Wow. Three and two. Nice. How many fate points do you have, Mike? Three. What about you, Adam? Two. What about you, Tim? Three. 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 Okay. Cool. All right. Right. At least that's three. Uh, we'll see twice. you all I next know. week. Yeah. Yeah. members, thank I've you for your patronage. Twice. Thank you for your support. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. Thanks thank for guys. all the snacks and thanks for everything, guys. Bye, Here's guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.